Hello, this is a couple hints for you in the preparation of your homework assignment number five on elastic optical networks. In that work, you're being required to uh, evaluate the reach of several modulation orders with different levels of FEC. And we can see um, here, for instance, there's a 7 and 20 percent FEC. And then for each of that overhead levels, there's a cer associated certain bit error rate threshold. For a given modulation format, the SNR required to achieve that threshold is going to be different. It's going to vary from QPSK 16 QAM to 64 QAM. And of course, it doesn't matter what the other modulation format is being used with Nyquist or OFDM. It doesn't matter what bit rate we're working at. It's just the um, uh, fundamental uh, performance of this modulation format. So I'm going to be showing you how you can use BERT tools to come up with a very uh, accurate measure of the required SNR to achieve a certain FEC threshold. So I'll go back to the uh, PowerPoint uh, about uh, required SNR. How do we find the required SNR? So in this example, uh, we're talking about a 20% FEC overhead. And if we go back uh, to the table, uh, to the homework assignment, we can see for 20% overhead, the bit error rate threshold is 2 times 10 to the minus 2. So if I want to get uh, performance that it can be approved with the forward error correcting code at a 20% overhead, I have to have a bit error rate of at least 2 times 10 to the minus 2. So I'm going to look at what is that required for uh, different modulation formats. In this uh, PowerPoint, we're looking in particular at 16 QAM. So at 16 QAM, I'm going to look at the, ratio, the curve for the bit error rate versus the EB over N0. And I'm going to look up and find what is required. Uh, and here we can see that at 2 times 10 to the minus 2 bit error rate, the required EB over N0 is 6.7 dB. So where did I get this plot and how can you get it in order to complete your table for all the values? Well, the way I got it was using MATLAB. So I go into MATLAB and I type in B-E-R-T-O-O-L, BERT tools, bit error rate tool, and that opens up a new uh, window for me. And in this window, I can specify a range of uh, EB over N0 to examine for any modulation format I want. So for instance, if I'm not sure what the performance is like, I can go from 5 to 20 dB, a fairly large range of dB. I go down and I have to choose a modulation format. Be careful, choose QAM. Don't use the default PSK, which is a mistake I can make. Go to QAM and then you pick your modulation format. And in this case, we were looking at 16 QAM, so I'll go to 16. I'll say plot. It opens up a window with a plot in it. Uh, right away, I'm going to change the label here so I don't get confused about what I'm doing. So I look here, and this is 16 QAM, so I'm going to change this. And I'm going to say 16 QAM. So I have the right label on my plot. So here we are at 16 QAM. And now I know I'm going to want to look at uh, different bit error rate thresholds. And uh, one of the error rate thresholds I want to use is 10 to the minus 2, 2 times 10 to the minus 2, and one is 3 times 10 to the minus 8. So I can do a little zoom in here to the area of interest. So I want to do 3 times 10 to the minus 3. This is 1 times 10 to the minus 3, 2 times 10 to the minus 3, 3 times 10 to the minus 3. And I can see by I, it's something like 9.4. And uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 2, something like between six and a half and seven. So if I go up here to what they call the data cursor, the data cursor, I click on that. Now when I go to my plot, it's going to, and I click on it, it's going to show me uh, the exact points, uh, the exact value at various points. For instance, here I can see that it's 7 dB for 0 0.01697 BER. And my points, I said here, uh, to do the range 5 to 20, so it's stepped by 1 dB steps. So I have a, an exact answer for 7, I have an exact answer for 6, I have one for 8. But of course that's not enough resolution to really help me get a fine idea of where between 6 and a half and 7 this occurs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this plot, uncheck it here, 
I'm going to make a new range. Uh, hold on, let's go back. I did that too fast. Uh, I do know that when I zoom in, the area of interest is somewhere between uh, 6 and 10 uh, dB. So I'm going to focus on just the, the range from 6 to 10. So I go back here and I start at 6, but instead of going 6 to 10 and doing by steps of 1, I put in a step size of 0.1 dB, and then I save to 10. So now when I get the plot, I'm going to have a lot more points and a lot more resolution. So I'm going to go up here and unclick the old plot, which is every 1 dB, and I'm going to have to do the new plot, which is 6 to 10 with very fine resolution. Again, I'm going to uh, change the label so I don't get confused. This was 16 quam. So now um, I can uh, zoom out or zoom in on the area of interest. And in particular, I want 2 times 10 to the minus 2. So here's 10 to the minus 2. Here's 2 times 10 to the minus 2. So I want to be right there. And woe and behold, now I'm quite close and I get the 6.7 dB. So I have a very good estimate of what the bit error rate is, uh, the required SNR is for the FEC. So if I were going back to the homework, I would look at the 16 quam, 20% threshold, and I would put in here, what for the SNR? Well, if I go back to see what should I be entering into that point in the table, I can see that it's 6.7, but it's EB over N0. It's not SNR. So I need one more step. And here I can see what that step is. I have here that it was 6.7 required, 6.7 dB of EB over N0. And if I want to go from EB over N0 to SNR, I have to use the equation down here. The SNR is the EB over N0 plus 10 log 10 of what? Of log base 2 of the modulation level. So I have 16 here. Log base 2 of 16 is 4. 2 to the 4th is 16. So I have 4. I want 10 log 10 of 4. But I know a doubling, 10 log 10 of 2, is 3 dB. So for uh, 4, it's 6 dB. So I add 6 dB in order to get the SNR is 12.7 dB. So this calculation now I can put in, it's 12.7 that goes in the required FEC for 16 quam with 20% overhead. There are a couple other uh, examples in the uh, PowerPoint. For instance, uh, finds it for 7% for 16 quam, and uh, you can uh, find it using BERT tools to any precision you like by just using this simple tool to uh, plot uh, the area that you're interested in. So I hope this helps you with the homework.